An iconic, historic, and beloved Walnut Grove restaurant burned down yesterday. The community, the region really, is devastated this morning. ABC 10's Bria Love is on the road at the site of what used to be Juice D's. Bria, when we went to you earlier and still now flames still burning in this one. Yeah, it is. Well, let's just go ahead and take a look right off the top here. So this fire started yesterday at three in the afternoon. It is now 6.06, .06, so we are more than 15 hours into this still active this morning. Just seconds before we became live, I actually heard some of the rubble just toppling on top of each other. But there is a fire crew out here this morning monitoring things. So if anybody's driving by Juicy's place, you will see that there is a crew on scene. There's no need to call it in. They are already out here. But I want to tell you a little bit more about how iconic this restaurant was. It's more than 100 years old, called themselves the oldest bar and restaurant in the California Delta. And it was mostly old wood, so as you can imagine, it burned pretty quick and still burning this morning. Let's take a look at some of the video from the firefight yesterday evening. Now, the owner is saying he believes it might have been a propane water heater that started the fire, but fire crews are still saying the cause is under investigation. But it's a loss for the community because it's such a popular place. It was even featured on the Food Network. But here's what one man had to say as he drove out here for dinner day, dinner yesterday evening. I thought I'd come up for a bite to eat and uh, arrived to see the fire trucks. Pretty uh, shocking and sad. It is really sad. One thing we did hear from the owner is he's not really sure what is next. He said they got through the pandemic. They'll be able to get through this too, but no plans to rebuild at this time. And it's just really sad for the community. Walt, I know that just talking to the fire crews out here, they said it's kind of like their cheers. You could go in there and you could talk to everyone and it's gone now, so it's a loss. Yeah, you mentioned iconic, and Juicy's is very much that. You have poor Reds, you have Club Pheasant, Juicy's, and down in that area, they got Tony's and Al's and the Ride Hotel. So these are these are places that people grew up going to with their parents, and so Juicy's just a great location, and we're not sure if he's going to rebuild yet, right? Right, we'll have to see. But again, I mean, this is the first time I've been out here, but just talking to crews on the scene, this was an important place for them. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel for them. It's definitely going to be sorely missed. Yeah, indeed. Mark, the owner, hopes he can recover that old cash register they had at the bar. He really wants that piece of memorabilia. I think his granddad put it in there. All right, Bria, thank you. We will check back.